What's going on with y'all man, welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews If this is your first time watching the channel, I do ask you to like, subscribe and share And feel free to go through my YouTube channel, go through the playlist and you can see any video that you want to see that's 2A related from optics, uppers, lowers from Palmetto State Armory, Glock accessories, CZ accessories, range videos, 50 yards, 200 yards, ammo testing. We got it all. Everything that you can want 2A, 2A related, we got it available for you on Chris Budget Gears and Reviews. So with that being said, I want to really get down straight to the point and just tell you my experience with Palmetto State Army. If you are on a budget and you are looking for quality, accuracy, and reliability, you can feel confident when you spend your money with Palmetto State Army. So, I've purchased several of their combinations. This is just two of them that I have right here. I've had many in the past. A lot of them I've gotten rid of parted ways with them but never have any issue out of them and i got proof of that on my channel if you go to my playlist where you see combat groupings you can see literally hundreds and hundreds of rounds with this downrange and hundreds and hundreds of rounds with this with this downrange and we're going to be putting some more downrange tomorrow so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about each one individually i'm going to tell you what i like about it and tell you what you can expect if you was to purchase something similar from Palmetto State Army. So let me go ahead and set that up. We're going to start off with the 16 inch chrome line. So this one right here is the 16 inch 1 and 7 twist chrome line. Now this actually started off as a dissipator. For those who don't know what a dissipator is, what I do is I roll in some footage showing you when I first actually got this and what it looked like before we took it to the gunsmith. I had them free floated, so we'll go ahead and roll that in right now. And we also got the Strike Industries Venom Flash Hider, and we also got the Presser Muzzle. So as you can see, that's what it originally looked like. We took it to the gunsmith. We had him put the Stinger rail on there, and we free floated it. Never had a single malfunction out of this, and I had put well over a thousand rounds down range. We got several hundred documented on video the bow carrier we got in here is mm, look at that right there that top of the line bow carrier that bow carrier when i originally purchased it we got a review on youtube about that too i'm telling you go to them playlists man go to palmetto say army playlist and you can see everything i'm talking about right now that was like about 250 that thing's still running strong chrome line with a 16 inch 27 twist fn barrel we got the Strike Industries Venom Flash Hider. We got the Vortex Spitfire 1X Prism Scope. The lower is that Forge um, Nickel Boron 2-Stage Trigger. Uh, we got a Spring Coat Spring in here. We got a, what's that, Odin Works Adjustable Buffer in here. We got that maxed out. <clears throat> we got the BCM Vertical Grip. We got the ATI Grip on here. Excellent rifle. Never had an issue out of it. I actually had the one to eight that's on that 308. It was actually on this right here and at 200 yards. We shot some damn good groupings with that too. More than combat effective groupings. What do I mean when I say combat effective groupings? Let me show you right quick. If I hang this target up at 200 yards and I'm aiming here and I'm aiming here and I'm aiming here, but I hit here, 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 here. Anywhere in that six, basically. That's what I consider a combat effective grouping. Yeah, I was aiming here, but I still hit him somewhere in here. And that's still effective enough to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. So that's what I mean by combat effective groupings. With certain ammo, on certain days, at 200 yards, I'd have shot a good grouping right here. But on most days, it's going to be a combat effective grouping. And that's acceptable. I'll accept that. For the money that you spend, a combat effective grouping at 200 yards and that ring right there, that's acceptable. So that's what I mean by the combat effective grouping. But at 50 yards, this thing is a tack driver. When I zero this at 50 yards with this optic and do my suppressor fire drill, which I have a video of that on YouTube also, that thing is a tack driver. I'm talking about bullet on top of bullet on top of bullet. But yeah, excellent rifle. 
So if you go to Palmer of Sayami and you see that 16 inch chrome line, one to seven twist, you can feel confident that you're getting you a good quality upper. You get you a good lower from them and you got you a good, nice general purpose load out to accomplish whatever you need to accomplish home defense general purpose activities whatever you good to go let's talk about the ar-308 next now we got the big boy on the table the ar-308 this one right here excellent 18 inch 1 to 10 twist stainless steel rifle stainless steel barrel excellent Excellent, excellent, excellent. No issues out of it. I done put well over. I hope I didn't say a thousand through this one because that, that would be a lie. I probably put about 400 through here. Yeah, about 400. Because when I first got it, I had a few boxes of um, 308 ammo left over from before Walmart stopped selling 308 ammo. I had some of that left over, about 100 rounds of that, put all that through there. This rifle performed so good. That when I put an adjustable gas block on it from Wilson Combat, that adjustable gas block failed. I put the non-adjustable gas block that came from Palmer of St. Army on here. Haven't had an issue since. For this one, I got a heavier buff in here. And I got a spring coat spring in here too. We got a nice muzzle brake on there. AR Stoner. Three chamber muzzle brake. Got the Vortex Strike Eagle 1-8. to eight. And this one shoots... Decent groupings at uh, 200 yards. Very decent grouping. Kind of very similar to that 16 inch. But at 200 yards, you get a little bit more tighter. A little bit more tighter with the optic and the ammunition that I be running. Get a little bit more tighter grouping. And this was actually a blim upper. Still haven't found out what the blim is, but it was a blim upper. Haven't had no issues out of it. So if we see anything on Palmer of Say Army that's a blim... You can feel confident that you're getting something that works. Most of the blims are just cosmetic. And when you actually look at it, I don't even see anything cosmetic on it. We just got a regular boat carry in here. Been an excellent rifle. Nothing bad to say about it. But I just kind of wanted to come over here and just kind of tell y'all my experience with Palmetto State Army. I don't really want to be too long-winded. But yeah, if you're on a budget and you're looking for quality... Accuracy and reliability, you can trust in Palmetto State Army. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.